Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the Ethical Hacking course. Today we're going to be talking about proxy chains. So this is actually going to be the second proxy chain tutorial. In the previous video I talked about proxy chains, what they are, how they work and I introduced you guys to the proxychains.configuration file. So in this video I'm going to go into some really advanced stuff when it comes to proxy chains. I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to show you that it actually works live. So I hope you guys are ready. So let's get to it. Uh, so like any other ethical hacking videos, it all begins in the humble shell of the terminal. So open up your terminal and let's get started. So uh, in the previous video, I was using the nano editor and I'm going to keep on using the nano editor. Now let me explain why. You guys might be asking yourself, well, there's the Vim editor and there's so many others. Why aren't I using any of those? Well, I'm trying to keep these tutorials as beginner friendly as possible so that almost everyone can understand them and it's very easy for them to grasp the concept of editing a configuration file in the terminal. So let's get started. Nano and we're going to access the uh, proxychains.configuration file. We're going to go to the etc or etc and proxychains.configuration and let's open that up. Now, in the previous video, I explained why we need to uncomment the dynamic chain. That's basically activating the dynamic chain. Now, the dynamic chain will basically allow the IP, IP addresses to change in a very dynamic um, in a very dynamic manner. And I explained that in the previous video um, about how it works. For strict chain, is gonna it's basically gonna go through a series of IPs, but the basically it's easier to detect because those IPs will be just repeating themselves. And a random chain, this is basically one of the worst ways of uh, proxy chain anonymization. And for very obvious reason, random each connection will be done by a random proxy, and that. If your proxy it doesn't work you're basically stumped and you have to restart the process all over again so let's go all the way down now i also told you to uncomment the proxy dns requests no leak for dns data this will basically will um will prevent leaking of dns data so your if, even if you're not you're using a custom dns that's in not in your country it'll actually it'll actually just follow the ip's dns to whichever country that's in so this is very important. Make sure that that's active, and you can do that by uncommenting, as I did with the um, the, the uh, dynamic chain up there. So let's go down all the way to the example section. Now, in the example section, I told you guys to take a look at the format of the of basically how a proxy chain or a proxifier DNS works. Now, this is the proxifier DNS. This is SOX5. That's what you're going to be using because it's the safest and it's the fastest, really. And this is the address of the proxy. Not nothing really to say there. That's basically just the address. You then have the port. You guys know what ports are. And right here, a lot of people have been asking me what this is. Well, basically, this is the username and password examples. So if you actually buy a proxy or a proxifier or a proxy chain, uh, um, in most cases, they'll usually give you a username and password. And this is where you get to enter them. So we're going to use Tor uh, and the proxy chains uh, in 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 interlation together so they're actually going to work together so let me explain how we're going to do that so in the proxy list section here this is actually where we configure the proxies as you can see the defaults have been set to tor but it's being used in the SOX 4 but we don't want that but instead of removing that we're just going to use this one so go to the line just below SOX 4 and we're going to add SOX 5 and you want to hit the tab button on your keyboard and that's basically going to f follow the format of the command above it so it's going to form follow the format just above which is a very good format 127.0.0.1 and 9050 all right now why are we using 127.0.01 firstly that's the basic door uh, proxy configuration that that's where the ip is and this is basically your ip and this is how you can actually test by running this to test if the proxy chains are working so SOX5 we've actually configured and to be honest, we're actually done here. Now I'm going to show you the proxy chains working with an example uh, or actually I'm just going to run it live. So we are going to save this file and to save the file, you want to hit control O and it's going to ask you if to, to write uh, to, to write the changes and I'm going to hit enter and it's written and to exit the nano editor, hit control X. All right. And we're going to clear the console 
and finally we can begin uh, checking so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if the tour service is running most likely it's not running uh, so let's check uh, tour service actually it is running um, well hold on all right uh, so what I'm gonna do is um, what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna close this terminal and I'm gonna open another one and I'm gonna stop it stop uh, actually hold on it's service door stop all right and I'm, I've stopped it if yours is not open don't worry just skip this step uh, and we're gonna start it again service door start all right and I'm gonna hit service door start and it's it's gonna start the tour service now we can actually begin with the proxy chains as I explained we're gonna using uh, we're gonna be using the tour proxies with uh, we're basically gonna using the tour proxies with the proxy chains configuration file at least for this video uh, so uh, the way to test this is we're gonna type proxy chains proxy chains we're gonna use a browser I'm gonna use Firefox that's basically whoops my typing today is pretty bad Firefox you can use ice weasel and basically ice weasel is just Firefox uh, so we're gonna use Firefox anyway and we're gonna uh, enter a test website to test whether the proxies are working I'm gonna use www.duckduckgo.com and the reason I'm using this is not anything uh, particular uh, I just want to also recommend this uh, search engine to you guys. I know you guys are very fond of Google, but DuckDuckGo is one of the sites uh, or search engines that does not keep your IP addresses and track you. So it's in terms of anonymity and when you're performing like who is scans on targets, I would recommend DuckDuckGo. It just keeps you safer. But anyway, we're using proxy chains. So all you have to do is hit enter and it's going to start proxy chains and it's going to open Firefox and it's going to open www dot duckduckgo.com obviously it's going to take a while because it's running through the proxy chains and uh, just give it its time and it should start it should open up duckduckgo and there you have it it's opened up duckduckgo but you might be asking how do i know i'm anonymous or how do i know i'm safe well firstly let's look at the terminal so as you can see you're going to see um that it's basically accepted these IPs and you don't have to worry about what it outputs here so to test it I'm gonna check for DNS leaks now how do we check for DNS leaks we're basically just gonna do a DuckDuckGo search check for DNS leaks all right and it's gonna hopefully return some results that was very quick and we're gonna test the DNS leak test all right so let's open that up uh, all right so as you can see it said my address is 176.58.198 from London United Kingdom I can tell you for a fact that I'm not in London in United Kingdom I'm well I'm really really I'm really far from here so as you can see it's actually working and if we start the standard test to test whether any DNS information was leaked regarding my real location we'll see that it's probably gonna give us a UK DNS or it's actually given us a German DNS so that's actually even better it just makes you more anonymous now you guys might also be asking how do we know this is working and my IP will be changing well to do that I'm just gonna close this browser and I'm gonna say um, service store stop or I could say service store restart to save the time all right and uh, once that's done I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna say I'm gonna run the previous command the proxy chains firefox .com, just to test that and let it start up again and there you are it should start up again depending on which proxy it's using it'll either be faster or slower if it doesn't work don't worry just give it a few seconds and it should it should work because it'll go through this the series of proxy chains as you can see here and some will be denied and some will work anyway it's returned DuckDuckGo so we can actually perform the DNS search again so check for DNS uh, DNS leaks all right again very fast let's check for DNS leaks and we should hopefully have a different IP and there you are guys it's actually giving us an IP from Prague the Czech, Czech Republic sorry if I butchered that um, let's check what uh, DNS it's giving us let's see what DNS it's giving us very nice it's running the test 
a bit slow but uh, it's worth it whether you're performing scans or SQL injection and there we are Germany so this is actually pretty cool and I've actually shown you guys that it really does work if you use this method you're gonna be anonymous and uh, that's all I can really say uh, knock yourselves out go ahead and do anything you want this is really useful for for the for people who are complaining about scanning the nmap uh, dot scan me dot nmap dot org now you can actually just change your IP and keep on using their domain for educational purposes obviously anyway guys you can see that it's working I'm anonymous right now uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or I hope this video helped you if it did leave a like uh, please share it because a, a lot of other people need this information and if they can get it that'll be just great uh, if you have any questions the comment section I, uh, you can contact me on, on my kick or on any of my social media on my social networks anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching the video peace